Hill Taves here back playing some more Planet Zoo and we are back in Zimba Zoo and this is building out from the previous episode where you saw me make some massive upgrades to my old elephant habitat you guys really seem to like that one which is really great thank you very much for the support and this is where we bring everything together so we're seeing a whole bunch of new things here already which we'll do a whole big proper tour of but um, this is going to be a good one there's loads of new details loads of new things for the workshop a big new um, elephant enclosure to go alongside the existing one um, and new elephant house. So without further ado, let's jump in and take a look around. Okay, right. So we can start this off right by the entrance building here. So this is back towards the main plaza uh, because there's loads of things that have changed. So obviously that's the Red Crown Cranes. That's all the market and everything. Um, and... Yeah, I think this has been here for a while, but we're going to go this way first. Are we going to go this way or should we go this way? I think we'll go this way first so you can see the front side of the uh, the stuff that you saw in the last episode. Um, so, Because I don't think I've actually shown that. So you come up this slope, there's this like, indicator that you're walking in the direction of the elephants. Um, so we go up this slope. This is overlooking all the red crown crane net. Uh, and then this brings you up past the, the hog house and all of the... So that's the little restaurant there. And then the um, warthogs. I think there's going to be more hogs in this section as well. Um, all of this path has been like widened out, broadened since the last time you saw it. Oh, there's a bit of funky slope Funky uh, path work there actually probably needs to be levelled out a bit. It would be good. So, if we go up here, let me just discreetly delete this from view. Because <laughs> that isn't supposed to be there. Uh, and then we come up this way. We can see path continues around that way. Excuse me, lady. And then this is where you get all of the view of the, well, the new, the new old bit. What you got in the last episode is all is all what's you can get this view from here. So a few little education signs if you haven't seen these before. I think these will be up on the workshop soon. That goes into the back of the flamingo habitat. So we can continue around that way should we choose. Um, and as I said, there's going to be it's just fence just kind of ends here because there's going to be some more stuff in, in there. That's the back of the warhogs at the moment. Um, you can kind of hear them snuffling around in there, but yeah, this gives you a really good view of the of the 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 male the boar elephant, and then you get a bit of a sneaky preview that way. So I think what we'll do is we'll stay on our kind of guest routes here, um, and so we'll go back this way because in the previous episodes you've seen me building the bridge and all that sort of thing. Started out building the bridge, you started out doing the backstage areas and things so let's um let's show you all of the rest of the stuff that i've added to that and how it's all come together so we're now down the side of the entrance building this is all a uh, bit fenced off now there's some decorations and some bushes and things flamingos on the left hand side uh, as i said that's one of the really early episodes um, so and they almost look like they could fly over the top there but they're kind of jumping down i mean i if I was to build this again, maybe I would build a net over it, but I'm not going to do that this time. So we'll come back that way in a second, because that's actually where the vast majority of the stuff is that you can see. Um, so we come up here. Again, this is all stuff that's been around for a while. It's just now integrated in more. Put another little kind of faux implied uh, cage in. And then you get what I've sort of planned to do. I haven't finished it yet, really, but I had planned to do... Um, oh, I've sp spotted these little water fountains around all over the place now as well. Um, we'll go down there in a second, but what this was planned to be was actually to be an um, educator, uh, educator area. So this is obviously the backstage view of the elephants. Um, so there's the second yard down that way. We'll come down this path in a second, guys, so you'll get to see all this because obviously there's a whole bunch of new stuff over there on the right side you haven't seen. But yeah, so that's what I was thinking, that this would eventually be a spot where um, educators could stand and, um, yeah, the elephants could come through this section. Um, actually, probably needs another fence here, really, doesn't it? Because you wouldn't want guests to get this close to elephants being walked past. 
So I will go up the stairs briefly. I, I changed out the the lifts actually to to Shifty's um, set off of the workshop because they're like they're just so much better than what I had there before. Get a little sneak preview of the backstage there. We'll go that way in a sec. But this is the bridge that then gets you up and over. Again, you get a really cool view from here. Will it let me up this bridge? Game. Game. There is a path there, game. Come on, game. We can do this. Let's unpause it then. Let's come out of this camera. Uh, and we'll just drop down back into explore mode a second. Right. So, yeah, you get this really cool view over all the backstage of the of the elephant habitat. Um, again, we'll go down there in a sec so you can see it more close up. Top of the lift, obviously, again. So, um, as I said, I think I've mentioned in previous episodes, I'm making a kind of conscious effort to make Zimba um, accessible to everybody. So there's lifts and there's um, slopes and wheelchair access and stuff everywhere. So we'll come this way. Obviously, this isn't finished, but this is progressing. We're bumping along this path. More work going to come down here, and we'll do a little quick. Uh, we'll do a little quick preview of what's going on going on down here. Again, we're going to come back down there in a sec. But so there's the second yard. That second yard, I think I'm actually going to completely replace. Um, at some point, I probably won't do a full episode for that, but I, I maybe we'll just kind of do it as a. Yeah, not really sure yet what I'm doing there. I just don't want it to be exactly the same as the other one. So um, but there's this little raised viewing platform. Um, and here you get your first view of, uh, yeah, more elephant, more elephant habitat. I haven't really decided exactly why I'm dividing these up yet. I sort of originally said that this was like old and new, but actually this one feels like it's, yeah, this is probably an older one. Let's say this is an older one. Um, so this is all linked onto the back of the loading bay and all of the um, quarantine and staff facilities and stuff. So yeah, pretty happy with the way this turned out. I'm going to get another little viewpoint there. Let's just shoot down there so you can see from that point. Um, obviously all this left hand side will be more developed. I think there's going to be kind of rhinos or something down this way maybe. Um, I've got a couple of, created some little silos and things which will see more of that popping up and over the place just for kind of back background detail and things little viewpoints and whatever that is what this episode is really all about just like extra details so he's quite happy in there um we'll go and visit his barn and all that sort of thing because that's actually i'm pretty happy the way that turned out this one again i think has turned out pretty well it's all pretty rough there's some rock work and things it's no nice kind of retaining wall and stuff i've i've what i've actually enjoyed most about building this one was just the kind of um the multi-tiered nature to it so these kind of different levels where you've got guests walking over uh, different points of view just kind of cool like even starting to get some viewpoints now because you can see the the tower and everything just in the in the distance there you can see the tower that part of the um the moroccan section the, the um what did I call that? Northern Desert. So it let me down the slope this time. So we'll go back this way and we'll take a left actually through the backstage area. So you've got a, um, a keeper gate and then a bigger gate for um, for vehicles and stuff to come through. So we'll go through this one. A couple of like water tanks and things. It's all pretty tight back here. Bunch of vehicles, a bunch of vehicles off the workshop. Again, I'll put these will all be in the um in the collection. This is actually the back of the restaurant that built this ages ago. And then as we make our way down here, if I look to the right, so this is again, this is all the entrance building here, right? So this has been around for ages, but I hadn't done anything back here. This is all supposed to be kind of a bit of staff parking. Um, and then a bunch of kind of, uh, you know, like silos and things that I created. I created all this backstage clutter. It's supposed to be like a loading bay. So there's like, you know, rubbish coming in and out. There's water containers and tanks and things. Um, if I don't remember and you see something you want here, do let me know and I'll put it up on the workshop. Um, and then we have the actual habitat itself, which we'll go in in a second. But we'll just have a quick look this way first. So what we might do actually is we'll go this path and then we'll come back around and we'll finish inside the habitat again. So it's just some backstage buildings here, um, kind of 
good way of concentrating a whole bunch of staff facilities all in one location, custom building, pushed a load of them together. Uh, and yeah, I think that's come out pretty well. I've actually used this this pretty much this same template in another location in the zoo, um, which you've not seen yet. So we'll go down this way, and obviously bear in mind we're all backstage here, so this is all pretty rough looking and shabby, and uh, but um, actually not too bad because guests can see it from here, as we were just up on that spot a minute ago. So we'll make our way down this path. What we'll do is we'll go down this path and then we'll come back and go inside the building. So it's just a load of like, this is running back towards the, um, to the to actually to the main road, the road that uh, is used for um, yeah, guests to come in. They come down the side over there, but this is, this is kind of a backstage route. So, I mean, I spent way too much time on this, but this is like a, like a kind of a pit like a bit of a place where they dump all their poo and their rubbish and things. Um, so you'll see there's a few like, you know, it's a hot climate. So some of these things have got light. I don't know. I just had some fun with it, really. Um, it's all a bit scruffy, but all absolutely sort of purposefully so. Um, a few like silos and things, more some like rubble and some sand and things, a bunch of rocks and things back here. I made some hay bales uh, out of way too many pieces. Um, a couple of feeder things. This little gate here. So this is actually, this is not guest a guest entrance. Obviously, this is for like loading and facilities, um, guest uh, staff access and that sort of stuff. So we'll go back this way, and we'll go inside the kind of main attraction. Right. So there's oh elephants are pleased to see us. So. Um, we'll go through this door here. Actually, before we do that, so there's a water tank on the outside. You'll see there's a pipe here going in. This is all the sprinkler system. I mentioned that I'd use that um, in the penguin habitat, actually, in Tigwadu. So I've reused that here. And then this is the... I spent ages trying to make this all this, all this um, feel really kind of functional and realistic. So you'll see there's like ropes and pulleys and all sorts of things everything well all of the door systems all you know slide across nicely so you can see that these are kind of heavy duty doors um and then they've got like places they can slide open yeah you know, particular access areas this one's open at the moment because this section is closed and the elephants are not inside um but the elephant has access to that one so and then you've got like a a thing that they can like lower down and, and close off. So they can they can have the elephant come into this section if they wanted to, or they could bring it in here, close this door off. Um, again, all of these like slide and have got kind of logical and sensible controls and things. So you'll see there's like a like turn that turn that wheel and supposedly this big door slides across. I wanted to make it all look like it was really kind of robust and um heavy duty could stand up to an elephant really uh so and again i will definitely make sure i put this whole set because i built this as a as a build set that um that i'll put up on the workshop this is for what's this for oh this is all like the windows and everything so look if you look again i've spent way too all these sorts of things but like if you look there's all these like cranks and stuff everywhere that all controls oh hello we up on the up on the frame there controls all the windows so i really i spent a lot of time making a conscious effort to go as i think i said in, said in the previous episode really trying to make a conscious effort to say guests uh the, the the staff members do not have to be inside um the habitat with the elephants realistically ever uh, so like if you want to open and close the windows you just open and close that uh, turn those handles there's my sprinklers in there um, we'll actually go inside I think we'll see him breaking the rules but never mind close that behind us so yeah this is where he gets to hang out again it's a pretty like it's actually a pretty simple building I kind of wanted to make it well, obviously all the details make it like way more interesting, but actually like structurally, it's a pretty straightforward, it's quite boxy for me, um, but I'm happy with the way that turned out. 
Uh, I'm, and again, I might put the whole. Oh, hello! You coming to see us? I might put the whole building up on the on the workshop. I will have to check to see if that's feasible. Peace count might be getting a bit crazy, but I think it's all right. Have you got yourself muddy? Are you a mu Are you got yourself all muddy? You've been having the best of times. I kind of wish there was actually like a, a hanging en enrichment feeder or something that you could use. Are you just can't, you tuckered yourself out, mate? Fair enough. Um, so we'll go back this way. We'll zoom back through here. And we'll bump our way over this and we'll go back through this gate. Actually, that shouldn't be visible. Let's fix that so that you can't see it. Uh, and then, yeah, so we're going into... This is the last bit you haven't seen, really. So this path goes back towards the loading bay. That's the, obviously that side path that we came down. Um, and now we are at the lower section of that bit. That's the last bit of sort of guest-facing area. So I have actually made a few changes. I think this was all this fence system was green um, and you haven't seen a bunch of these bits in here. So I just kind of, again, just tried to make it feel like fairly robust and strong and different places they could keep the elephants, put a few staff buildings in. Um, we really want to be able to have the elephants come through here, obviously, because to move them from loading bays or between different habitats and stuff, these gates can all be open. So there's like a big like airlock system going on in this. Um, so, and then I added a couple of like, it's yeah, just details really. So like there's a another little holding section here, little kind of hangar, um, water tank, um, some hay. This is the back access to that, um, that cage there. It's loads of just clutter, really. This is definitely a clutter heavy. <laughs> this is a clutter heavy build. Um, and then this brings us back round to what you see saw me do in the last episode. I think these were different. Actually, this wasn't here in the last episode. So just some more pens, like in case they want to separate separate animals off. Probably would be like only yeah, the size for calves and things, that one. Um, and then we can actually push our way back inside, see the big fella. And then obviously this is that f first guest facing area we looked at. Um, so let's just have a, lastly, let's just have a quick look in here because there's a couple of details that I didn't really show you in the last episode. So this is all obviously the original build that I upgraded in the previous episode. I did add this, this door system in. So again, this can be slid across. Should you want to ever have, you know, access through one yard into the other, this is this is closed at the moment. This is this section's being cleaned. I think I will actually make it. I need to do some work to make sure that these are closable. Um, in fact, I could probably just do that while we're here, just so that you can see how this works. So I kind of talked about this in the penguin habitat actually, but. It's a really like simple way of doing it. It's just to go, you know, it'll, it'll take me a little bit of fiddling to get that right, but but that's basically what I'm going to do. I'm going to find the center point of that, add a mud pillar to it so that when I rotate it, I don't want it popping out like that, but that's basically what I'm going to do. So that's Zimba all back together again. Thank you very much for watching. hope you enjoyed that one. I'm just going to leave you with a few of the cinematics of this flying around really happy the way this has all come together probably back in tig we do in the next episode guys got the gift shop to work on in that one as well as a few other bits and pieces thank you very much for watching welcome to all the new console peeps if you are a console person please let me know in the comments it's always good to know and um, my name is topes and i will catch you guys on the next one take it easy